Since the middle of last week, we've had a surge in visits to the ERs and urgent care centers here in St. Tammany. We've had a surge in hospitalizations and those being cared for in our ICUs. Younger patients are infected with COVID. Pediatric wards are overwhelmed in many areas. The Delta variant is spreading rapidly and is highly transmissible. Medical professionals tell me that each infected person is possibly infecting eight or nine others on average. And there's an uncertainty on when we will reach the peak of this fourth surge in cases and hospitalizations. We are in a public health crisis, particularly here in St. Tammany. And as your parish president, it's my duty and responsibility to ensure the health, safety, and welfare of our citizens. That's why I've asked, once again, those medical professionals and leaders of our hospitals here in St. Tammany to give us an update and share with you, our citizens, how we all can help. So first I'll call on Dr. Preston, our coroner. Thank you, Mr. President. I find from time to time I have to remind people that I'm actually a physician as well as an elected official. And I invite anybody to go to stpcoroner.org and look at my three-year-old resume to see my background in medicine as a practitioner, as a teacher, as a published author and researcher. I have to tell you that I am very frustrated with the position that we are in. We are at war with the Delta variant and this is D-Day. It has come down to this critical point where if we don't get enough people vaccinated and enough people don't take personal responsibility to mitigate the spread of virus, again, you don't have to have a crystal ball to know what's happening. You just have to look at last year, but imagine it a hundred times worse. From June 15th to July 16th, we had one death in St. Tammany Parish. From the 17th until today, we have 24 deaths, except on my way over here, I was notified of the 25th. Those deaths represent a small fraction of people infected with COVID. We don't know what the long-term consequences of COVID are gonna be, but we have a pretty good idea. There are many people suffering neurologic effects, COVID brain, potential heart disease, kidney disease. But the most important thing, and I'm sure my colleagues from the community are going to stress this, is we have outstripped the resources of our healthcare system. We are in a dire emergent situation. The government cannot solve this. Only the actions of individual responsible citizens can stop this plague. There is so much misinformation and it is very concerning to me. I was told there was a, a rally today to encourage people not to get vaccinations and not to wear masks. Those people are not interested in the public health of St. Tammany Parish. Those people are interested in promoting a political agenda and that political agenda makes no sense to me because the people who are most at risk are the most conservative voters in this parish. We need to use common sense. This is very simple. Wash your hands, wear your mask, get vaccinated, and we may be able to avert a local and national economic disaster that's just gonna be answered with another three trillion dollar solution that the government doesn't have. So I'm not appealing to the people that think that COVID is somehow tied to immigration. I'm appealing to the people who have common sense, who have children that cannot be vaccinated, that are now our most, pop, uh, most at risk population. 
This is a pandemic beyond imagination and it is getting worse every day. If individual citizens don't take action immediately, this is going to result in much more dire consequences. Uh, I, I really am concerned and alarmed that things are going to get a lot worse before they get better and there's only so much that the government can do to, to bolster society. I am appealing to everybody to please do the little things that are patriotic. Wear your mask, get vaccinations, protect your neighbor. You are your brother's keeper. And it is not just the person who refuses the vaccination that is at risk. It is everybody who comes in contact with that person. So even if you're not concerned about your personal health, please have concern about your neighbor's health. Thank you.